Hi everyone, my name is Pau. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're a loyal returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. In today's video, I'm going to be applying some makeup to my face as I get ready for the day. And while I do that, I'm going to be talking about letting go and trusting the universe and knowing that there is purpose in the people who ebb and flow out of your life and who kind of fall out of your life even when it feels uncomfy, even when it hurts a little bit and um, yeah, just my two cents on trusting the bigger picture when it comes to navigating old relationships, new relationships, that sort of a thing. So let's get into it. I was first inspired to do this video by my own personal experiences in the previous year having to do with personal relationships, romantic relationships, platonic relationships, you name it. There have just been like a lot of changes in my life having to do with the people who I've kept in touch with or who have completely fallen out of my life, things like that. The truth of the matter is you can't you can't keep up with everyone because if you did I think that you would end up having a life full of not so meaningful relationships. You might have more friends, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you are creating and investing in quality relationships that better your existence on this planet. I think it's very important to realize that it is also very natural and also very human to outgrow people and to let go of relationships and to recognize when it's time to no longer invest time and energy into some of the relationships in your life. And I know that that's hard for some people, including myself at times, because I know for me and for a lot of other people that I know there are people who have been in our lives from what feels like the very beginning of time. You are so used to having these people in your life who you've known since like early childhood and maybe you go off to college and you guys kind of don't stay in touch. You soon begin to realize that you just don't have the same kinds of connections that you once did with these people. That can happen for a bunch of different reasons. It could be because once you left your hometown and went to college, you realized that maybe these people were only your friends because of proximity and not because there was a true genuine connection there. Or maybe it's something more along the lines of someone did something shitty or maybe you were the person who did something shitty and there's just no going back from that or you've just decided that it's not worth trying to fix it. Whatever the reason may be, and there's a lot of them, it happens and it's very natural and I know that I myself in the process of going to college and then deciding to drop out and then deciding to travel and deciding to leave my hometown and in the mix of all of that I realized that things were changing, things were different and some of the people that have been in my life since day one are still in my life but there are some people who I've outgrown or who have outgrown me. Um, usually I think it's pretty mutual but I've had to come to terms with a lot of my relationships ending or just fading out or just changing and sometimes usually it's for the best and it doesn't always feel that way because it can make you feel very alone and confused and um, I don't know, it's just sometimes kind of a tough thing to navigate losing people and coming to terms with the fact that your relationship with this person just isn't the same as it used to be. I think that when you realize, oh shit, I don't click with these people like I used to or maybe you've always known that you didn't click with these people from the get-go, but you're finally in a place in your life where you're able to do something about it. You're able to say to yourself, okay, I've always kind of known that these people aren't my sole people, and maybe they were just my friends because we went to the same school or because we lived close to each other growing up, whatever it may be. Um, I think that 
if you find yourself in a place right now where you are able to distinguish the difference between proximity and coincidence versus real, genuine, raw, authentic connection, I think that that is always a positive, even if it means that you need to let go of people. I think for me, one of the hardest things I've had to come to terms with is that just because I absolutely loved having someone in my life doesn't mean they'll always be there. And that's just the fact of the matter. That's life, you know? And there are handfuls of people who were only a part of my life for a moment in time. I have found myself in many moments where I'm trying to latch onto those people and like keep them in my in my circle and in my life without realizing that even though yes maybe I had the time of my life while I was living my life alongside them maybe their role in the grand scheme of things and in my life was only for that moment in time there are people from college my one and only year of college who I really enjoyed meeting and knowing and hanging out with but now because of distance and because of different goals and things like that um, they aren't an active part of my life anymore and that used to make me very sad and um, I would wonder like what changed like do they just not care about me anymore and sometimes yeah that is what happens people just don't care anymore because you're not actively in their sphere, you're not their next door neighbor anymore or whatever else, so um, keeping you in their life becomes more of a chore, some might say, if they view you in that light, you know, because I have friends who are not living in the same state as me, most of my friends actually, aren't living in the same state as me and for me I don't see that as a chore I see it as a huge bummer because I would obviously prefer for them to be my next door neighbor or to at least live in the same city as me but unfortunately that's just not my reality in circumstances like those you really realize whether or not these people are people who you really want to be friends with or if you were only being friends with them because it was easy at that moment in time and it made sense at that moment in time to be friends with them. It's actually a really awesome opportunity when you are pushed to move away or your circumstances change and those are the moments in which you soon come to find whether or not these people are your true ass homies because if they are, they are going to keep in touch and they are going to ask you how you're doing and they are going to reach out and they are going to try to see you no matter the distance. I believe that those people will show you that you matter to them regardless of distance or circumstance. I believe that those same people are far and wide and pretty rare. That's why when you do find them, you gotta grab hold of them and cherish them and love the heck out of them and uh, be sure that there is reciprocity there, that they're not the only ones that are trying to meet up with you, that you are also doing that and that you are expressing to each other how important your friendship is to one another regardless of the distance or regardless of the circumstance. And those who naturally fall away, which they will, there are always those people who naturally fall away, fade out of your life, um, and sometimes it's a little more dramatic, like they might cut you out or there may be a falling out or something of the sort. And that's very natural too, that that's just a part of growth and evolving and changing and moving. A very important realization that I've made is that some relationships, a lot of them, the majority of them, were meant to be finite. They were meant to transpire in that moment of time and for that moment of time only. And sometimes it's hard to come to terms with that idea because maybe you truly, really enjoyed um, having them in your life and spending time with them and living alongside them and having them be a part of your world. I think it's important to understand that a lot of the times, unfortunately, like, <sighs> People come into our lives at a certain period of time to teach us a lesson or show us something or just like 
to be a part of that experience at that moment in time. I've found that sometimes there is no great, huge, gigantic reason for why these people don't stay in your life forever because the fact of the matter is that I think more often than not, that's just the way it goes, you know? <laughs> like, that's just the way it happens. It's a part of life. People ebb and flow. They might be in your life for a couple months and then they might fall off the face of the earth. And sometimes that just means they aren't in the same town as you anymore, or they picked up a job somewhere else, or whatever it may be. And sometimes there's those people that circle back around, and they're kind of always in your sphere of people, not constantly, but you know that there's a big chance that you'll probably see them again, and, and you enjoy the times that you do. And I don't think that there's anything wrong with reminiscing and with daydreaming about the lovely moments that you spent alongside these people I just think that it's very important and very crucial for us all to understand that that's what makes memories and people so special is that the only thing constant in this life is change so sometimes that means that these people change sometimes it means that our circumstances change and the things that we get so comfortable and used to feeling doing knowing suddenly isn't what we feel, know, and do anymore. I am a firm believer in that every person that comes into our life is placed into our life for a reason. And I think that every person that we come to know and every person that we come to meet has something to teach us. And so we should be willing and wanting to be receptive to those messages and lessons that these relationships are so capable of bringing about. We just have to be aware of the capacity that these, these people, these individuals, and these relationships have to bring about um, growth and expansion in our life. That's really cool when you think about it that way. I don't know, it's like I feel like everything has its expiration date. Even lessons that we have to learn on our own like maybe we had to experience something kind of traumatic or hard. Um, but even those experiences have their expiration date because those experiences happen so that we can take something away from it. And once we've taken that something away from that time, we are able to move on in our life and take that information and knowledge into the rest of our life. And I think that sometimes people in relationships serve as a learning lesson. They aren't always supposed to be these forever people that we know for eternity and who become a major part of our life, even though sometimes we would hope for them to. There is perfect timing and perfect order in this life. I believe that the universe is conspiring in its efforts to bring about some lovely realizations and experiences and and love and friendships in our lives but it's also so important to realize that a lot of these relationships and a lot of these people are just that they're there to teach us something or to make us feel something for that moment in time but that doesn't mean that they will be a part of our forever world and that's tough because whether it be lovers or great friends who come into our world and fucking change our perspective on life and flip our world upside down if people are showing you and making you believe and feel as though you don't matter to them and like you're just not a very important part of the equation in their life you got to believe them as painful as it is you have to let these people ebb and flow out of your life know what you deserve i don't think anybody deserves some like dip in your toe in the water kinds of connections I think that people should decide whether or not they want to be a part of your life and if they do they should be all in if they are all in you will know and if they're hesitant or flaky or half ass then most of the time it is best to say goodbye to those individuals so that the universe can fill that empty space with 
people who value you and who love you. With that being said, I do think that it is super important to tell the people that you love that you love them. Actions speak louder than words, so if there is someone in your life who you haven't heard from in a while, get over your pride, reach out, tell them you miss them, tell, you, tell them you love them, tell them how they've impacted your life. If there's someone that you've been thinking of and you miss them and you want them to be a part of your life, you know, let that be known. Shout it from the rooftops and hopefully there's reciprocity there. But if not, know that it's for something even better and that the universe has plans for you to come to know other individuals that are going to change your world like you could never even imagine. There are lessons to be learned everywhere and from every individual that we come across in this world. And once you realize that, you gain a lot of power because you're able to take away the valuable stuff always. Even if it's a 15-day relationship of whatever sort, if you know that people can serve as amazing life lessons and amazing realizations and sometimes just experiences sometimes you don't really learn much from anyone but being by their side brought about an emotion that maybe you had never felt before or a love that you had never even felt before maybe in being who they are they taught you something about yourself and that could be positive or negative maybe the way they treat others was very ugly and disgusting but in being around them you came to realize that there's a little part of them in you and that brought about a change in yourself and in the way that you decide to go about the rest of your life and the way you go about treating people for the remainder of your lifetime and that in itself is huge and really cool moral of the story trust because it's all happening for us and sometimes it's gonna be poopy and you're gonna miss these people and you're gonna be kind of confused about where the connection was lost but I promise you that in time everything is revealed. You'll be happy that that you you trusted these feelings and you trusted when these people told you or showed you, hey look, I don't give a fuck about you anymore or you know, just realizing that oh, this person will never be able to reach me here because their capacities only extend to here and I need this. So if they can't do that, it's just not going to work out. Knowing what you deserve, knowing what you want, knowing what you need and knowing your boundaries and setting those boundaries is going to set up a beautiful foundation for yourself and the rest of your life in regard to the relationships that you have because when you have a strong prominent foundation in what you know you deserve as an individual you serve as an example and you will begin to create relationships that are healthy and inspiring and loving and we all want that and I just want to reassure you all that if this is happening in your life, like if you are having a hard time letting go or trusting that these people who you thought were your fucking family and you wanted to keep forever and if you feel like they're just slipping out of your fingers or just it's so hard to keep in touch with them, just trust because there is a greater plan set in place, there is a greater, bigger picture, and it's all happening for you. Like, there are people who have come into my life who I thought that if they left, my world would stop spinning and the sun would collapse, and so would I, and that would be it. And those same people who left, those same moments that made me feel that way, like, oh my god, I need this person in my life. Once they got out, once they left, the universe was like, look, you didn't need them after all. And because you let them go, here, here's this magical being who is going to blow your mind in more ways than one and is exactly what your heart and soul desired and deserved. And they are going to fucking rock your world, I promise. Me speaking 
and me applying mascara cannot coexist. This is my simple, natural, everyday, if I'm wearing makeup, makeup look. Sometimes I don't use the liner. Sometimes I do. It's whatever I'm feeling. Okay, people? Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am happy to have you here. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing and turn that bell notification on so that you can get a ding ding on your telephone device every time that I upload. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching and thank you for being here.